Hello, all my circus freaks out there. It's story time, and I am your humble storyteller. Um, this will be Storyteller's Storytime Giant Storybook of Stories number two. In our first video, I read y'all the uh, creation story for the whole world I'm building. And this time I'm going to introduce you to the world and a little bit about its history and its pantheon and some things. But here we go. This right here is the world known as Arcona. Now, just imagine that in globe form, and that'll be our landmass. And you'll notice that I haven't put in any, you know, nations or landmarks or biomes on it yet. I'm doing that intentionally because as the story builds, it's kind of like you're revealing the map in, uh, I don't know, Skyrim or something like that. So, but I do have some, uh, some nations already kind of planned out and I have a little bit of history about those. Um, probably do a, you know, nation by nation kind of video here in the future. But for now, I just wanted to officially name the world. It's going to take place in the world of Arcona. And that's where the whole uh, adventure is going to be set, you know. Um, from the last video, story time number one, I uh, read y'all my creation story. And in it, I talked about the wills. And the wills are the gods, okay? There's like three tiers of the gods. You've got the mother. She's at the top. She was the one giving birth. She was the scream that sparked everything. So the goddess at the top, she's the uh, unobtainable, unknowable, um, uncommunicable deity over everything that just kind of sits and, you know, doesn't really interfere with, with, you know, cosmic things or planetary things or, or anything. She's just there. And below that, I have my, um, Elemental lords, of which there are seven, and those are your, those are your major gods. Those are your Zeus's, your, you know. So they are um, the elemental lord of the cosmos, whose name is um, Arag, aka the Scream. Um, you also have uh, the elemental lord of fire, who is known as Pyrus, also known as the Flame, to his worshippers. Um, the Elemental Lord of Darkness, Ravoid, or the Emptiness. Um, you've got the Elemental Lord of Light, who is uh, Lumeron, or the Brightness. Um, as she's, these, you know, the, the Brightness, the Darkness, the Scream, the Flame, these are what they are more commonly, you know, known as. But um, you have the Elemental Lord of, Lur of Earth, who is uh, Stanara, a.k.a. the Pillar. Who's primarily worshipped by your dwarves or your gnomes. Um, you've got the elemental lord of water, uh, Sinos, a.k.a. the rain. And then you have the elemental lord of the air, Atmos, or the wind. And that's, you know, those are your major gods. And then below that, you have your, the wills. And these are, um, you know, like your... Your minor gods like I don't I don't know Athena not not like the big three in Greek mythology you had Zeus uh, Hades and um, Neptune not Neptune Lord of the Sea why don't I remember anyway you know you had that the three major gods and below them you had your children their children and, and whatnot but I've got a whole to do two or three pages of that um, you know I won't read all of them otherwise this will be a 10, 15 minute video, but, um, got, uh, Ezra, who is the lady of merriment. Um, her domains are, you know, taverns, entertainment parties and stuff. Um, uh, you got Saganus, who ironically was a character I played a long time ago. Um, little funny story about that name. It was Sega and NES. So Saganus, he's going to be the God of nature. And then you got Philosen, who's going to be the, uh, God of emotion or the lion of emotion. Um, you know, and I've got a whole list and 
you know, some of these might not even come up in, in game, but I've got something for them. Um, oh, I, that's one I liked. Uh, Takanis, who's the storm duke, who's his storm god. Um, industrious. <laughs> uh, Lord of Labor. Um, Necros, the dog of death. That's something that's going to play a, a part in, um, in, in the wrestling, actually. Um, one of George's characters, we've named him Necrosis. And he's a fallen priest of Necro. Now, Necro is a neutral deity. You know, he's the, he's, he, he's not the judger. He's just the escort, you know? So when character dies in this world, they meet Necros. Now, depending on how their life was lived, depends on how they see Necros. So if you've lived a good life, then uh, Necros will appear as the friendly border collie, you know, leading you to your paradise. Or if you've lived, you know, a bad life, um, he appears as the three-headed Cerebus who's dragging you down to your doom. And then if you've lived a neutrality life, it, you know, it, it's, it'll uh, appear some, his appearance to you will appear someplace in between, you know. It's not necessarily the extremes, but, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, Necrosis is, uh, George is going to be one of George's characters. Um, and then, you know, I've got a whole list and then below that you've got your lesser wills, which are more, you know, the, 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 the upper wills, I guess. Um, they're more, you know, over larger domains of areas of existence and worship, I guess. And then you've got your lesser wills, which are kind of like your demigods, I guess, who not in the sense that they're, you know, the pairing of a mortal and a, you know, a deity, but, um, you know, just more specific, uh, portfolios, if you will, like, you know, very specific, you know, he, this is the God of, you know, the frogs that live in this one area, that kind of thing. Um, I guess, wow, seven and a half minutes. So <laughs> that's about it for this game, y'all. Um, like, follow, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love y'all, and I hope to hear from you soon, all my circus freaks.